Every now and then I get a request asking me to deal with the effects menu in Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is just packed with effects. Today I want to deal with the telephone effect. Uh, I use it a lot in audiobooks myself and just recently had to kind of modify it for helicopter pilots talking on their radios. Let's get right to it. For this lesson I've created a couple of short clips, the first of which is a telephone conversation. Yellow. Frank, it's Charlie. Charlie, what's going on, my friend? We've got a huge problem down here at the Capitol building. Yeah, I've heard. What can I do for you? Can you be here in 10 minutes? They sound like they're sitting next to each other, right? So one of them needs to have an effect added to them so that they sound like they're coming through the telephone receiver. Let's make it Charlie in this case. And he starts talking here. So you highlight the first clip of Charlie, and then you add the effect. Which effect? Well, I've chosen an effect that is common to, I think, if not all, most versions of Adobe Audition, and it's the uh, FFT filter, which I believe is right there. Yeah. Okay. Now I can click that, or I can go over to Effects and find it under Filter and EQ, and there it is, FFT Filter Process. Now, the FFT filter has a number of... Uh, effects that are related to the telephone sound. Uh, scroll down here and you'll see telephone voicemail, a couple of on holds, but you want telephone receiver. Well, at least I do. That is the one I believe sounds closest to being a telephone. So click OK. Now obviously you're going to have to normalize these after you've added the effect. The next time Charlie talks is here. Let's add it again by clicking F3. F3 on your keyboard, in case you don't know, will repeat the last process that you did. There you go. And let's see, when does he talk again? Yeah, I've heard it. What can I do for you? There he talks. All right, F3. Now, normalize. And that is under effects. Amplitude and Compression, Normalize. I want it at minus one. And again, F3. Now, let's play the whole phone conversation. Yellow. Frank, it's Charlie. Charlie, what's going on, my friend? We've got a huge problem down here at the Capitol building. Yeah, I've heard. What can I do for you? Can you be here in 10 minutes? And here's our other clip. This one is an airline pilot talking to the tower. Flight 293 requesting permission to land. Probably sounds to you like I've already added some sort of an effect to it, but I didn't. I'll show you why it sounds that way later. First, let's add a digital effect and let's use the scientific filter, which you will find in the same place, Filter and EQ. There it is. And let's go up to drop off below 250 hertz. That's not going to be enough. The cutoff should be higher for this one. So let's, uh, let's try 700. Yeah, way up there. Okay. Click OK. And let's play it back. Flight 293 requesting permission to land. All right, so I mentioned that I added something to that voiceover before I added the digital effect to it, and that was simply a piece of paper. All right, yeah, Tower, this is uh, Flight 3293, and uh, we would like to come in for a landing. What do you say, huh? All right, there's, there's one way to do it, or how about some foil? Flight 293, you're breaking up, you're breaking up. Or how about this? Hey, this might work. Uh, Actually, I can't breathe, so that's, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, don't try that at home. I might be having way too much fun here. 
I also mentioned normalizing a little while ago. You want to make sure that all of the audio is pretty much on the same level. So we click normalize on that uh, on those affected clips so that we can bring them up together and we don't have audio that sounds like this all the way along and then all of a sudden it drops down and then it comes right back up again and it all has to be kind of in the same area okay that's pretty much what normalizing is we'll have to dig into some more of those effects in future lessons thanks for joining me this time i'm scott fortney find me at takemyvoice.com